Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the purpose of running scripts in headless mode? Let me answer. So first of all, what is this headless mode? Let me explain. For example, there is a Chrome browser in normal mode. It's a normal mode, okay? Same Chrome browser now is in headless mode. What's the difference? Headless mode. What is the difference between normal mode and headless mode? When you run the Selenium scripts in normal mode of the Chrome browser, you'll be able to visually see what's happening. Okay, that is, uh, you'll be visually able to see how the browser is opening, maximizing, opening the application URL and testing the application and closing. Everything you can see visually. But in case of headless mode of the same Chrome browser, the scripts will run in invisible mode. You cannot see what's happening on the screen. Okay. You cannot see what's going on on the screen. So the scripts are going to run in invisible mode in the background. Let me show you practically how the visual mode will look like. There is normal mode of Chrome browser and uh, invisible mode. That is headless mode of the Chrome browser looks like. So here we have some sample Selenium automation code. Okay. Don't worry what code is written here. So simply run the script and see, you can visually see what's happening on the screen. Like, uh, we can visually see the Chrome browser launching in a while. You see the Chrome browser will launch. Visually the Chrome browser launch maximize open the application URL tested and closed and you got the result also. Everything is fine. What about this invisible mode then? Here I need to add some lines that is Chrome options. Options is equal to new Chrome options. I need to create an object for the Chrome options. And uh, using this object reference add arguments and here in double quotes give hyphen 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 headless and put a semicolon here now copy these options and paste it here so that it will be applied to the chrome driver now run the script this time also the script will run but you will not see anything happening on the screen directly you will get the result here without any visual loading of the browser and application etc you see test is being run and you know you got the result without the visual interface coming up. This is what is called as a invisible mode. Okay. Similarly, we have the same thing in Firefox browser, normal mode and Firefox browser headless mode. That's okay. But the main thing here is what is the purpose of running? Why we have to run is a question. Okay. You understood what is the normal mode? What is headless mode? Okay. But why, why people have to run their scripts in invisible mode? That is headless mode. Why headless mode is the question. What is the purpose of running scripts in headless mode? The first answer is faster execution of the scripts. Okay. Your scripts will run faster. Why the scripts are going to run faster? Why? Because visually no graphical user interface is required. Okay. In case of headless mode, there's no visuals. There is no graphical user interface need to be loaded on the screen. So definitely the scripts are going to run faster in headless mode because there is no GUI of the browser or no GUI of the application where the scripts testing is being done and etc. Okay. So faster execution of the scripts. So if your team wants the scripts to run very fast, then headless mode. Then one more thing, let's say there is a situation where you have to run, uh, you have to work, you have some work in your computer, the same computer machine, you have to run your scripts same time. You have the work and at same time, you have to run the scripts. What will happen if you go with the normal mode? Every time a browser launches, your work will get disturbed, right? You'll not be able to multitask here. Okay. While the scripts are running, you cannot do other thing in your machine. So in case of headless mode, this will not happen. So as the scripts are going to run in invisible mode and, uh, you know, in the background and nothing will get interrupted. So whatever the work you do, you can parallelly do while the scripts are getting run in the invisible mode, you can do your work. So other advantage we get is. Multitasking. First advantage, faster execution of scripts because of no GUI. Multitasking because no GUI or no uh, in the background without getting interrupted, scripts are running. So you can do whatever the work you want while the scripts are running on your machine. So these are the two advantages, okay, or the purpose behind why people go and run their scripts in headless mode, okay, Selenium automation scripts in headless mode. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. This, these two lines are the answers. For understanding these two lines, you have to understand the uh, headless mode, what is headless mode and all. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.